Ooh. Nico Carlson in one word. Let's see. Determined. How about that? Nico is. I'm trying to decide between either determined or a leader. One of the two. Either of those work. There's a lot of words, but. Hard working. Wait, I wrote it down on my phone. Um, I don't know what I wrote though. Huh? Radar. Intelligent. Hmm. A cool, a cool hyphen nick and poop. Yeah. <laughs> um. Smart and funny. Loud. Kind hearted. St a stubborn. I don't know, a stubborn. Foxy cat. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> um. Rambunctious. <laughs> um. I'd probably have to say just friendly. Friendly. Nico is a ding dong. Or a ding dong. He. He's one of my craziest friends. Um. In choir, we always mess around. And he says hi to everyone. He has a lot of handshakes. Um, he's a pretty, pretty cool person. Nico is just a fun person. He likes to try to do things to get everyone involved. No, he's he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he's all around. Uh, Good-hearted person. Always thinking about others. He's, he's like a puppy. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he's, he's friendly and fun to be around, but sometimes he just does dumb things that you, you're like, oh, it's kind of dumb, but he's just silly and you don't get mad at him because he doesn't really know any better and it's okay. Um, James is really just hyper he's and he's always, he's always in a bouncy mood. Um, he's a ball of energy, um, really fun to be around for the most part, but when you're tired I wouldn't want to be around him because then you get annoyed. <laughs> um, I think Amiri is probably the most like me. We get in our spurts of being really excited and happy and then also having like our calmer sides. Mary is... Probably the most ironic of all of us. I don't know, or sarcastic. And he's the weakest, obviously. Um, he is. He's a bright ray of sunshine under a little layer of sarcasm, but that's okay. Because he's, he's, he's a cool dude. Amir reminds me of me sometimes, especially when it comes to like video games and whatnot. Very competitive. And like I said, he's loud. He likes to talk above everyone else. He likes to yell, which is nice because I also like to yell. So we can just yell at each other and it works out pretty well. Joshua likes a variety of different, like, has a variety of different interests. And he's always talking to people and he's fun to talk to. And he well, he likes winning a lot, and he likes like doing really well. Josh is always making sure you know the situation's clear before he goes, and he always usually knows what to do. Fun to be around for sure. Um, he's always got something interesting to say too. <laughs> Good person to know if you want to extend your knowledge on a few things. How long does this go back? Seven years? Six years? There was one night where him and I got in a fight and we started yelling at each other a whole bunch. We were both stressed out about a whole bunch of stuff and neither of us talked about it. But then after fighting it out, we had a long conversation. It was a really good night because we were able to work through a lot of things and we didn't let that tear anything apart. I don't know. I'd have to say the times we've been to St. Louis, but 
all the time we've had sleepovers, just him and I or with anybody else, just fun, crazy, craziness happening. Fifth grade? What are we, 12th graders? Seven, Seven years? years? Oh my gosh. I always enjoy thrifting with Nico, because that's always something we shared. Um, one of my other favorite memories with Nicholas Park was going to Minnesota. That was fun. I think the first time I ever went over to Josh's dad's house, I really liked that because it was the first time we ever hung out one-on-one. -on -one, and just being in Josh's own house kind of made me realize what kind of person he was. And I really liked that. And we've been, you know, best friends ever since. So. Hmm. I remember... <laughs> the first time I ever hung out with Josh, it was with Drew, and we were gonna go to LGA. And I remember I didn't want to pick up Josh first because I wasn't like, because we were like super close friends yet, and I was, but you were like closer to me. So I went to Drew's house first, and then I went to your house. But Josh and I have shared a lot of fun cross country meets and swim meets, so those are fun too. Would have to be, uh, all the times I beat him at Smash when I wasn't even trying. Uh, Mary likes nicknames. Uh, he likes calling people them. And he likes referring to me as white man or lunch man or. <laughs> um, he just likes saying a lot of words. And we would like go to his old duplex and we'd all like eat pizza and just like. You know, <laughs> and John was there. I remember when, he, when we FaceTimed. <laughs> Do you remember? We, do you remember we Facetimed Darian and them? Oh, bro. And they were. It was in your room. We still have the video somewhere. It's on Facebook. Yeah. The time that Amiri and I spent about two hours playing Super Smash Bros. just as Captain Falcon, and we were on top of our game a hundred percent, and we were having the most intense matches that you could ever imagine. A few years ago, we'd always play Black Ops late at night, and. I think we got pretty good. We made our own clan, and my KD never got positive, but my attitude was positive whenever I was with him. New Year's Eve, I went to bed because I had to get up for football practice in the morning, and he wakes me up at 2 in the morning by slapping me in the face with a Jimmy Jones sandwich. I don't know, we've had a lot of, I just have to say, like the one-on-one -on -one time we've got, and just like, I'd say he's a more fun person to be you know, one on one. Not saying he's not fun around other people, but he's a more fun person one on one. And all the stuff we've talked about. And all that. Sixth grade, or I don't know, sixth or fifth grade, but we tried making a video, and he was bouncing one of my balls, and it hit him right in the nose. And it was the funniest thing that I had ever witnessed. We had a lot of trampoline times, and that was fun. We've done a lot of, well not a lot, but like some shotgunning of soda pop, and a lot of swimming, well not a lot, but like back in, in, the, in the pool prime. Um, My favorite memory of the squad, all the late nights either at James's house or my house, watching movies, being dumb, and then it always turns into wrestling or hitting each other. <laughs> Probably all the late nights we've spent staying up together and going to like the mall and thrift shopping and all that and just having a good time. I, I make my favorite memories are every day hanging out with them. There was a time that we spent an entire summer straight playing Super Smash Bros. At least four hours a day. That was a long time. It was a long Super Smash Bros. That was fun. Good luck, you guys. Hopefully we can stick together for many more years. Hopefully we all survive that long. I don't know. Do well in the future and keep each other to keep you up. These are my brothers. I won't miss them. Even though we're all going to be living here, it's not going to be the same. But it'll be okay. We'll be good. Uh, I hope to see you guys a lot during these next few couple four years whatever it may be and I hope we'll be able to 
hang out a lot. I love you guys. Thank you for being my best friends for the past few years. Hope you guys all do great. I know I'll see you guys soon. And just thank you for being by my side. Thanks. Favorite memory of Nico? Him stealing fourth grade. <laughs> That's your favorite memory? No. <laughs> I just thought that'd be funny to put in there. Nico stole my girlfriend back in fourth grade. Josh is always taking plan B. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Whoa! <laughs> no, 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 you can't be telling people. You can't be telling people about this, man. Josh is always. Um, Jeez. Josh when we'd always take each other's girls. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, you my, took my girl. My favorite. My